Have you ever tried to make a beat as fast as you can only to find out that seven hours later you still making the same beat today? We fixed that. What's up, y'all? I know it's been a minute. If you noticed that I was gone, I apologize for the weeks I took. Hope you forgive me with that out of the way. Let's hop straight in at a sheet. Y'all already know the topic for today, so let's not waste any time, bro. My first tip is that have sounds already picked before you start a beat. You feel me? That avoids you being overwhelmed by too many sounds. You feel me? These are my sounds. I pick a guitar, bell, pad, 808. I got two 808s for variation and a kick, clap, hi-hat, snare, and another snare. Now we can proceed. I'll do the try it, then I pitch the middle one up and octave. And another thing, notice my clap. I just have the preset set to this thing, you feel me? Cause a clap is always like this. Unless you wanna be more experimental, but for me, I'll keep it like this. <laughs> Duplicate that like that, then I'll add these notes. Push it up. Let me randomize this. Just like that. Mess with the scale. Oh. Hey. Hey. That's hard. Now I know that I got two more instruments. No more than this. So I gotta make them count. You feel me? You don't wanna overcomplicate your melodies like a bell beat going like. Di -di 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 -di. Unless it's your style though, but just keep it minimal, rap on top of your melody and your beat. If you can hear a flow, that means it's fine, you feel me? So yeah, let's proceed. Pitch this one down an octave. Duplicate that, make variation right about here. Something like that. That's decent, right? A pet just follows my chord, so something like that. Boom. Let me tell you my thought process when I was doing this. Simplicity. Second, I was avoiding perfection. It's to avoid distractions. Don't switch off your phone because you'll end up missing some important things. Be open to phone calls, but not email, Instagram and stuff until you're done making your beat. Now for the drums is the same thought process. Some of y'all wanted me to do a drum placement tutorial. So I'll show you how simple it is to place drums and make them hit hard. You feel me? What you use all over again, just make a preset. You feel me? Instead of me always putting an EQ and a soft clipper. I just made a preset, master, boom. Now I know that I have an EQ that cuts the lows and the highs, then a soft clipper. Another thing is that if you want your beats to be more fire, choose high quality sounds. You want quality beats, you gotta have quality sounds. Simple as that. <laughs> On your free time, you can make hi-hat midis or go back to all of your previous beats, save your hi-hat midis. Just go to that this corner, file, save score as, save it like whatever you want. When you're making beats, you can just drag and drop inside your project. Thank me, lady. <laughs> What I like to do is do this 
with my 808 just raise it up until like you hear a bit of clipping then bring it down a bit raise the EQ knob I'm following the root notes then control L a bit in the second part make a roll right here sound like that open head where the 808 hits hard you put it right there and another thing about your open head make sure it goes like it is quick you film let me shorten it a bit more sound like that Let's mix the beat. I want to give you all the tips, hence I'm taking too much time. Now this is a frequency game, you feel me? If the mid frequency is filled, try to find another frequency. Think mixing as a game. If the 808 covers the lows and the kick wants to cover the lows, the kick should ask an 808 permission to use the lows, you feel me? Hence the side chain. Hope that made sense, cause to me it made sense. Or am I that dumb? We picture this as a game, right? This is a 808 part, so let's run away. Boom, somewhere right here. Hey. This is a hi hat part. We run away as well. Hey, if you want a guitar effect, you will never go wrong with flanges, bro. Just a default preset. Oh, get out of here, man. Rudy Reverb. Oh. I'm done. Then the pad will have to like fill some of the highs. Before I drawn it in reverb, I want it to be like filtered, you feel me? So yeah, let's open love filter. Something like that, bro. Hey, that's hard. Oof. If you're smart enough, go to my first tip. Save presets, you feel me? Let me add my bell. drums are already processed and high quality so no need to open like EQ's compressors like be an engineer bro ayo avoid dancing to your beats that's what makes me a bit slow just do that a little bit though After that, you organize your beat. I'll not organize the beat, but if you want to learn how to organize the beat, you can download the FLP in the description below. It will have like the time signatures, how I organize my beat. Because I love y'all, bros. If you want to make some hard AF beats, make sure to click this video because I got jams teaching you everything you need to know about this beat. So yes, yeah, me, Tapsol, signing out. Love y'all.